Have you ever been in a position where you can't access your WordPress admin because you've forgotten your password or for some reason uh, you can't reset your password? Then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can re-add an admin account uh, via the website database. So as long as you have access to the database of the website, you can add a new admin account without any trouble and then you'll be able to re-log into your site and uh, gain access to it again. So let's go and have a look. Okay, so we are presuming now that you have logged into your uh, website's database and usually it's through something called php my admin and you'll see a list of tables like this um, for your website so your the prefix may be different for you so the default is wp um, yours might be something different but what we're looking for is the information after that prefix so first of all we need to find users okay so here we go for us it's wp users and what we need to do is we need to click insert at the top here. Okay, so let's click, click insert. Now we need to give this user an ID um, and this ID needs to be one that isn't already used. So just as an example, if I go back to users, so we've only got one user and that ID is two. So I know as long as I use any other number than two, we'll be fine. If you have a website where you have a lot of users and it's going to take some time to figure out if that, what number is free basically, then what you can do is you can leave this blank and then after this step you can go back to users and check what, what uh, ID it's giving you because it will automatically give you one that's available. Okay, so for now I'm going to use the ID of three and we need to remember what this is because we need to use it for another step after this one. Okay, so user login is just your username. And then password, we need to make sure that we select MD5. If we don't select this, then this login won't work. Okay. And what you can actually do uh, instead of adding a user. So for example, say you, you've accessed your website admin and you're not able to log in, but you've used an old email address that you also don't have access to. So you can't even use the, the kind of password reset feature in WordPress. So what you can do, if you have access to the databases, you can literally just go to the users, okay? And I can change my password. So this isn't actually my password. This is just a kind of hashed version of it. So if you try and use this, it won't work. Okay, but what you can do is you can edit this user. In the password section, you can go MD5 again, and you can change that password to whatever you want. <clears throat> Once you click go, you will have reset your password, okay? So you can do it that way if you don't want to add a new whole new user. Um, that's the easiest way to get back in if you if you are already have an admin account on there. So anyway, let, back to where we were. User ID, username, password MD5. I'm just going to give my password the, the name password. Um, don't do that. It's not a good idea, it's not secure. Um, I'm only doing this on a, a staging site, which will be deleted anyway, so that doesn't matter. Okay, so you can leave the nice name. Um, you can add sales at thrivewp.com. So that's my email address for this account. You can set whatever email address you wish. You can leave the URL, set the date of this user's registration. Now I usually just say, set it a day or two before the current date. Um, and that is all you need really, that is the, the basic information you need for your user account. So we click go, that's all been created. The next step is to go to user meta and again we need to go to insert. Now the U meta ID we can leave blank. The user ID is the ID we had um, previously used, so that was number three. And then we should have here what we've already copy and pasted just to make things easy. Um, this information I'll add on our site and I'll link to that um, below in the description. Okay, um, so it's the WP capabilities and this is giving the user the admin capabilities, the admin user role basically. 
So there's that one. And if you scroll down, you've got another box. Um, again, you can add the user ID three um, because that is what you need to reference that user. And we will pop in WP user level and that should be 10. Once you've done that, you click go. And that is your user added to the database of the site. Now this is just a kind of demo site that we've created. Um, so if I go to the admin login page now, and we will use the username and password we just uh, set up, click login, and we now have access to the admin of that site. So if we then go to users, um, you can see this is our original user. This is the one we've just created. It's got administrative roles and we've managed to log into the website. All right, so that's how we can access our website if, you know, for whatever reason you can't log in or the admin uh, kind of password reset doesn't work. You can access a database, add a new user and you can gain access to your website again. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and let us know what you think. Any video ideas, we're happy to hear them. Um, just uh, drop a comment below. We'll see you next time.